opinion polls show that Obama's lead over John McCain are widening with less than three weeks to go to the election day. And beyond that, some of the most stalwart voices of the right, columnists like William Crystal, Kathleen Parker, even Christopher Buckley, have criticized the McCain campaign, his running mate, and the candidate himself. Is the Republican Party running scared right now? Well, joining me right now is MSNBC political analyst Pat Buchanan and Michelle Bernard. Uh, Michelle and Pat, thank you for joining us. Uh, Pat first, then Michelle. What is going on out there? It looks to me like there's a lot of confusion on the ship. Is there a sense that the captain doesn't have the right course setting? Pat? Yeah, I think so, Chris. It's uh, Churchill's famous phrase, take away this pudding. It has no theme. One day they're attacking Obama for his association with a domestic terrorist. The next day McCain says, this is really a decent fellow and nobody needs to be afraid of him. It looks like McCain has taken advice from two or three or four different camps. And what he's got to do tonight, quite frankly, is very simple. He's got to come out consistently and say, we're in a crisis. I've got the judgment, experience, ability, knowledge to deal with it. And this fellow does not. And here's why and how. It's a difficult assignment because Barack Obama is not going to cooperate with him. Right. Uh, that sounds, Michelle, like rower derby, like you're going to keep rowing ar running around the track and knock the other guy off. Can he be that yeah. strong armed to knock? Because that's a dismissive role. And Pat's basically saying, I can do this job. It's not a matter of degree. This guy shouldn't even be in the running. What do you think, Michelle? Can he be that tough? I, I, He's 12 points I mean, back. I mean, I think that... 14 that, back. That... That is the message that he has to take. He's got to get on course and stick with one message. There's almost a, a schizophrenic nature to what we see happening in the in the McCain campaign today. You saw earlier today, Chris, Nicole Wallace, a, a McCain's a strategist, um, said on another NBC program this morning that they don't know what to do, that it's like running against Barack Obama is like running against God. Of course, they blame it on the media and say that the media has put Barack Obama in the place that he's in. But the bottom line is it is the economy. The negative campaigning isn't working. The American public, I strongly believe, does not want to hear about William Ayers. They don't want to hear any more about, uh, about Jeremiah Wright. They want to hear about who's going to get us out of this economic um, crisis that we're in yeah. and which one of these candidates is the best to do it. And quite frankly, the, you know, we are beginning to see the, the Republican Party united during the convention in August, and that, 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 unit, that unity is now falling apart. There have been so many things that have happened since August, and, and tonight is do or die for John McCain. He's got to put it all back together. He is losing his base. There are are many, many conservatives that are so angry that he voted in favor of the bailout, for example, that he's got to come strong on the economy tonight and put his base back together while he reaches Chris, out to independents and Reagan Democrats as well. Chris, he may not be able to do it. What do you think? What? He may not be able to do it for this reason. Look, look, Chris, we got a, we got a four or five thousand points, whatever it is, six or tri seven trillion dollars wiped out in four or five weeks. Now, before that, McCain, Palin, and, and Obama, Biden, were competitive. McCain's a couple of points ahead, and you're going down right. to a, uh, maybe to a real close race at the end where McCain could win it. I think the country has decided, we don't mean Obama seems acceptable, and we got to get rid of what we got, and they're saying what we got is the Republicans. Oddly enough, a Congress that is at 10 percent approval, Pelosi, Reid, are liable to see their numbers dramatically increased. What do you think, Pat? i got to stick with you for a second, then back to Michelle. Do you think the Republican strategy, such as it is right now, to trash the media? Fair enough. That's fair game. They attack the media as being pro-Obama. Fair game. Is that smart, or would it be smarter not to hold back, go out, put Palin out there on shows like this, give her a college tour, give her an hour with me like all the other candidates, including McCain, have had, stop hiding her, McCain go on shows on NBC, all the other networks. Take us on. Fight with the people who have been critical of him. Is that a smarter move to be critical and tough with the press, or is it smarter to hold back and say, I'm not talking to those people. They don't like me. What's a smarter strategy? The smartest thing at this point is to say to both of them, we're going to lose this election. We are losing it. We may not be able to win it. But go out everywhere and be yourself. Say what's in your heart, what you believe. If you think this guy is too radical, doesn't have the judgment, say so and do it in public forums. Yeah, that's exactly what I would do, Chris, if I were John McCain. Tell him, look, go out as John McCain. John McCain is a fighter and a warrior. He doesn't back away. And, and, and be yourself. Get all the advice, consult.